Hey guys, Wolfboy1106 here. Um, I don't know what the deal is with this webcam thing. I got a light set up so you can kind of see me better, but it's still the old crappy webcam. I hope you don't care about this and you still love me for who I am, um, but you're not going to love me for the review I have to give today. And that, rev that uh, movie that I'm going to review is um, Video Violence and some, only some, of Video Violence 2, which is right there. Um, and why only some? You probably know right now, or we'll figure it out in a matter of seconds. Um, the first one tries to be serious, but it fails so horribly. Um, it's basically about these two guys who will rent VHS's from this video store and then return the movies with a snuff film in the case in place of it. So, you know, people who rent the movie are going to take the tape out and they're going to put in a snuff film that these two dudes made who rented the movie. Which is completely illogical because when you get an account at a video store, you actually, um, you know, give them your address and phone number. So, uh, if I worked there, I'd probably just, you know, see, um, okay, David Johnson rented this movie last, so let's, you know, send the police over to his house. Instead, uh, these workers get on it, and this movie gets very serious because, you know, you don't mess with a man's movies. Um, it's just so, so bad, so terrible, and it's actually a cult classic just because it is so bad. Here's the cover. The cover's pretty sweet, actually. It was put out by Camp Motion Pictures, and is still put out by Camp Motion Pictures to this day, because... They have the rights, no one else is going to have it. I love how this light, like, emphasizes my butt chin. It's so horrible and gross. But I kind of like, you know, gonna... But, anyway. Yeah, this movie isn't too gory. Not as gory as people say it is. But it still has its little bit of violence here and there. Um, most of the violence on this cover, actually, is from the, the second one which is absolutely horrible, horrible, horrible. It is basically a sketch comedy movie, except the sense of humor is like watching ALF. Or, it's actually worse than ALF. It's that bad. And I don't know what we were supposed to think about it, what people thought of it in the 80s, but this it was just pure badness. Actually, it comes with this. That's the original VHS art for part two. It's actually kind of neat. Um, both these movies are shot on video, and they were, uh, I believe that the first one was one of the first shot on video horror movies to make a pretty big success in the video market, just because it's so terrible. And, um, it actually, uh, is deep in my heart because of that too because it's just such a bad movie just so horrible and unwatchable that I actually enjoy it like think Troll 2 except bad like if you watch this and watch Troll 2 oh my god Troll 2 is so much better I mean I still have to like I mean Troll 2 is, like, bad for how much money they probably spent on it, but, so this is horrible, horrible, horrible. Now, to the filmmakers who made this movie, uh, my props, because you are awesome, you are legends, you made a movie with such a low budget, and it became a hit that is still reviewed on YouTube today by losers like me. So, for that, I have to give you my props, because that is just awesome. I mean, you are a somebody, it, just because your movie is bad doesn't mean that it doesn't mean things to other people. 
But yeah, it's just bad. Just really bad. And <laughs> I like it, but yeah. If I had to say overall, if you should check it out or not check it out, I'm actually going to say avoid watching this movie. If you do watch it, you will watch it again and again and again and still hate it. And if you don't watch it, you're going to look at this awesome cover and be like, Oh my god! But, um, yeah, that's all I can really say. This movie's just bad, and if you want to check it out, go for it, but you don't need to. It's not like a must-see movie or anything. It's just a silly 80s shot-on-video horror movie, and it's barely even horror. It's more drama. The second one's supposed to be comedy, but is actually the first one's funnier. But, yeah. I mean, if you're into this sort of thing, then of course you're going to like it. I mean, you can say that about any movie. You can just take a random movie and say, well, if you're into this sort of thing, you're going to like it. Of course you, of course, if you're into this sort of thing, you're going to like it, because that's the movie that's in your hand. I could pick up, you know, Forrest Gump. If this is your kind of movie, this is going to be your kind of movie. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that. That, uh, uh, that's all I have to say about video violence. Um, you can get this online from Camp Motion Pictures. A definite checkout. <laughs> this, is, this is, like, my first rant review. Like, it's not even, like, alright, this movie's horrible. Yeah, I like, I like bad movies, so I don't regret getting this, but it's bad. And if there's one word to describe this movie, it is bad. But I liked it. So thanks everybody, I don't know what week it is. Sorry for missing last week and getting the whole channel into a frenzy, but uh, I'm glad I'm not kicked off, unless I am, and then I shouldn't have uploaded this, but oh well. Alright, thanks homies.